back. In his address at the 79th United Nations General Assembly session in New York, External Affairs Minister S. Jai Shankar sent a strongly worded warning to Pakistan. Talking about Pakistan's decades-old policy of terrorism, Jai Shankar warned that its actions will most certainly have consequences. Jai Shankar made it clear to Islamabad that Pakistan's policy of cross-border terrorism can and never will succeed. Highlighting the impact of Islamabad's terror policies, Jai Shankar said, when this polity instills such fanaticism among, among its people, its GDP can only be measured in terms of radicalization and its exports in the form of terrorism. But some make conscious choices with disastrous consequences. A premier example is our neighbor, Pakistan. Unfortunately, their misdeeds affect others as well, especially the neighborhood. When this polity instills such fanaticism among its people, its GDP can only be measured in terms of radicalization and its exports in the form of terrorism. Today, we see the ills it sought to visit on others consume its own society. It can't blame the world. This is only karma. Madam President, a dysfunctional nation coveting the lands of others must be exposed and must be counted. standing demand for permanent membership, Jay Shankar emphasized that the UN Security Council needs to reflect the realities of the modern world, not the post-World War era. Remember, UK Prime Minister Keir Starmer on Thursday backed India's bid for a permanent membership of the UNSC just days after US President Joe Biden and France uh, Emmanuel Macron made a similar pitch. Madam President, the global order is inherently pluralistic and diverse. The UN began with 51 members. We are now 193. The world has changed profoundly, and so have its concerns and its opportunities. But to address both, and indeed to strengthen the order itself, it is essential that the UN be the central platform for finding common ground. And that it certainly cannot be by remaining anachronistic. Pointing out that the Gaza war was already acquiring wider ramifications, S. J. Shankar urged the global community to find urgent solutions to the conflicts. Conflict in Gaza is acquiring wider ramifications. Across the global south, development plans have gone off rails, and SDG targets are receding. But there is more. Unfair trade practices threaten jobs, just as unviable projects raise debt levels. Any connectivity that flouts sovereignty and territorial integrity acquires strategic connotations, especially when it is not a shared endeavor. Technology advancements, which have long been a source of hope, are now equally a factor of anxiety. 